All right, I had to do this video here. I was sent a TikTok video. It says 20 seconds, but it's more like 16 seconds. The last bit is just nothing. But anyway, this is a very interesting video, and I had to share it. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to stretch it out because there's a part of reading that is real quick and I had trouble pausing it right on the time needed so uh, might have trouble again but I want to read it here just because I know you're going to be just as curious as I am as what it says but anyway here we go this is a painting of Satan from 1797 all right here's the little quick thing it just like a second so you don't have any time to read it but it says, Satan summoning his legions, Sir Thomas Lawrence, PRA 1769 to 1830. All right. This guy, Thomas Lawrence, grandest history painting attracted strong reaction. It is dominated by a muscular male figure naked apart from his sword, helmet, and some carefully placed drapery. He is Satan, the rebel angel who has been sent to hell. Standing by a lake of fire, he summons his followers. The subject is Milton's Paradise Lost. Book 1, line 330, Awake, Arise, or Be Forever Fallen. Lawrence made a bold decision to paint this imposing painting for the 1797 Royal Academy Annual Exhibition, where it was titled Satan Calling His Legions. First book of Milton, it attracted attention and criticism at the exhibition, and even before it was finished, when people saw it in Lawrence's studio, the painter Richard Westall, R.A., was skeptical about it, stating he did not think Lawrence qualified to paint historical subjects. He has little of the creative power. And the rest, I guess, doesn't really matter much, but just a quick little history of that um, and the picture is interesting but what we're going to compare it to in a second is what is shocking so let's take a look here just pause real quick this is the picture that is shown here All right and you're like okay that's how he's depicting Lucifer all right, you know, interesting, I guess, you know, but the Statue that, of Liberty, that, that face, because as you know, we're comparing it here, the Statue of Liberty was created 80 years later. Liberty was created about 80 years after. And you can see the structure is very very similar in the face and the pose is definitely the same now the interesting thing is is that over the past I don't know let me say maybe up to five years I guess I've been hearing people now and then whether it's on my Facebook or YouTube or wherever people talking about how this so-called Lady Liberty looks like a dude and it's like, yeah, I guess, but I don't really care. I don't care about this statue whatsoever. But now it makes it a little more interesting. Because it definitely is an idol. No matter what it is. It's depicting your liberty, your freedom. It's just a bunch of metal, a bunch of copper. That's all it is. But having it depicted here as Lucifer calling forth his legion or legions uh, it's creepy especially looking at how America is just full of war and it gets into the videos I've been making about the history of America and how it started off as a Christian nation how it's basically the second beast in Revelation was a brought up in 12 or 13 and the second beast comes up like a lamb you know like Jesus 
like a Christian, but then ends up speaking like a dragon. Dragon is the old serpent, the devil, right? And it all really started after the Civil War, which is when this came in. The Civil War ended in 1860s. Don't remember exactly when. I want to say 1863, but don't quote me on that, please. But anyway, after the Civil War, things changed in America. And we started to end up losing... Uh, our common law foundation, which is Christian law, the highest law of the land, we started to give that up. And people started becoming, instead of free men and women, part of the people, they started to become citizens. And to you, that seems normal. That seems fine. But it's not. It's not. Citizen means you're a slave to the state. You're owned by the state. And they slowly got Americans used to it. Because then we had a Great Depression. Now God judged us because we were putting our faith in money and not in God. And we still didn't repent. What we did is that we ended up signing up for Social Security numbers. You know, we put our faith and trust in the government for the money, right? We didn't. We didn't put our faith in God. And then what happens? World War One, World War Two. And that just led to more control and power of Roman law in America. Got away from common law. That brought in income taxes. It brought in fines and imprisonment for victimless crimes where the state acts as the victim when the state is not a living being and cannot receive harm and it turns the state into an idol into a god and people protest to it plead with it beg it for mercy and freedom and all this stuff they treat the government as god And this is a, uh, a big symbol of that. Big idol. People look at it as a symbol of liberty and freedom. But it's a giant idol. Just a bunch of copper. And it looks as though, since it was made by Freemasons, French Freemasons, that it probably is depicting Lucifer, which is the Freemason god. And they put it right in front of your face because they know you're ignorant. You know, if Lucifer really was a good guy, you wouldn't have to be tricked into following him. You wouldn't have to be manipulated. Just come out straight forward saying, hey, I'm Lucifer, follow me. God is evil. But he has to lie and deceive you. Trick you into following him. Because... He's full of shit, and it would be too obvious if he just stood out there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I'm just going to go through this because I don't think there's anything else, really. But just in case there is that I forgot about. Yeah, see, it was only about 15 seconds. This is a pain. Just the last five seconds. Now that's some uh, creepy interesting stuff. But anyway, I wonder what kind of reaction I'll get, especially from Americans, or New Yorkers especially. So thanks for watching and take care.